Mushroom Gorge. Whenever I hear this course, the first thing that comes to mind is the gap jump. This shortcut, even though it's not very difficult, is very important to know how to do comfortably and consistently. We'll be going over these four methods today. Hopless, Normal, Spin Drift, and Wall Ride. I know I'm going to be a little controversial here, but I think that hopless is the first method that should be learned and taught. It's easy enough for anyone to learn and perform, and it teaches the basics of how to properly assess where to align from what to where. First, when you exit the cave, you'll see the gap to your left. Imagine these three areas as shown on the screen as different locations. The highlighted area to the right is where we primarily want to aim for hopless. What you're going to do is right before you use your mushroom, I want you to hard drift to the left. Shroom? And right as you go airborne, hold right, while still drifting left. This is commonly called TF physics, as it's the only strat or technique in the entire game that honestly makes no sense. And the first use case was on Toad Factory. I like to believe that's where the TF comes from. I don't know. This method shouldn't take you more than a few minutes to learn, but if you are struggling to clear the gap, you may have a terrible entry angle. Remember, we make a hard left drift before the cut. You need to compensate for that by having more of an angle, a bit like example 1 instead of example 2. I should also mention that this method doesn't work for outward drifters, as do most all TF physics shortcuts. The second method, the one most of us consider the gold standard, i.e. the normal method, is done by aiming a little higher up on the cliff, shrooming, then hopping slash drifting left as late as you can. Surprisingly, despite being the normal way of doing the gap jump, the only players who use this method consistently are generally quarters, to which you have to drift left first, then do a really well-timed hop. The drift is important so when you clear the gap you don't run into the wall on the other side. If you're an aspiring quarter, be sure to practice this method a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. The timing on the hop in clutch situations can be brutal online. The third method is basically the normal method just with a spin drift. Instead of just hopping off the edge of the cliff, if you input a left and right action during the hop animation on your thumbstick, you'll get more air. This is the method most players use online, giving a sort of safety net in case they hop a little too early. There's not really much to explain in case you can't do this, just keep practicing. Make sure you're aiming inside this area of the cliff toward this flower in the distance and eventually it'll become muscle memory. Now I did say four methods, but before we get to the final method, the spin drift actually has a second definition. With the spin drift, you could gain more air, which means you could cut off more if you know what you're doing. The spin drift time trial method is done by aligning to this area on the map, then shrooming, spin drifting, and aiming for the little slot right next to the finish line. Also, you'll want to use your mushroom as late as possible, as you use some of the remaining boost to get you out of the grass. If you're struggling to find the timing and location, I would recommend watch the BKT on where he aims, where he aligns, and when he uses the mushroom. Okay, the last method we'll go over today is the infamous wall ride. As many of you may already know, Mushroom Gorge has mushroom pads. And if they encounter a shroom or boost of some kind, they could send you up and around walls. The most common use case for this was the Ultra Glitch, which is banned in online play, for what should be obvious reasons, but that doesn't mean we still can't use the walls to our advantage. The easiest way of doing this method is by going the slower left path, then right before you land on the left pad, shroom slash aim for this grayish area on the rock, and hold hard back on your control stick, Remember when on the rock, lefts and rights are swapped. So hold back and right when on the rock to try to wrap around the wall and not run into, well, the other wall. 
I would recommend for the most part only going for this method if it's either 100cc or you have another mushroom to save you from a bad landing. Other ways of going about this is with a spin drift hop off the mushroom to give you a slightly better alignment, or doing it on the right side. Which is tricky, especially since the mushrooms aren't really designed that well for you to cross paths at the end of the cave. I would refer to my mushroom pad video if you're trying to understand how to get enough distance to make it over. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, you know what to do. If you have more questions for me, I have a comment section. Go ahead, feel free to use it. Don't have to pay a cent. And if you are feeling generous, why don't you stop by my Twitch stream? I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all and everything relating to Mario Kart. Hope to see you over there, and happy racing.